That's all from the newsroom for this weekend. Good night. Well, a look now at the weather. Sleet or snow still affecting many central and eastern parts and giving moderate falls with drifting in places, especially over the hills, will tend to peter out and turn to rain at low levels overnight. Fog patches are expected in western areas. Tomorrow, most parts of the country will have a rather dull and misty day with a little rain here and there. Further snow is likely over the hills of northern England and Scotland and in some eastern parts of England at first. Western parts should be somewhat brighter than elsewhere, but on the other hand, any outbreaks of rain could well be heavy and rather prolonged. It will be generally less cold than of late. This baby started its life in a test tube, in a doctor's laboratory in Melbourne. We are really assisting in man's creation, rather than actually making the creation. Doctors can now not only fertilize a human egg in a test tube, but put it into suspended animation by freezing it. We don't know the total length of time, but it's, uh, it, it probably could be uh, for hundreds of years. While the technology means new hope for childless couples, what are the implications for humanity? This, of course, is the start of a slippery slope. Once we establish this principle and we say that we're going to accept it, a lot of other ones, a lot of other decisions will flow from that. Cloning, uh, choosing the child, uh, aborting a baby which is not the sex you want, uh, even moving into sort of 1984 situation. The argument over test tube births. That's experimenting with life in Panorama at 10 past eight. On BBC Two, now, the feature film in which rock star David Bowie played his first major role, The Man Who Fell to Earth. Here on BBC One, a unique look behind the scenes at a very much down-to-earth Archbishop, Robert of Canterbury. I received, of course, uh, hundreds of letters uh, when I was made Archbishop, and uh, they're very much treasured and put in a great box. Uh, 